you're all doing very well. It's been a long time since we caught up here, but let's jump straight into it. When we last caught up, the car had just come back from welding and had all of what I thought was all of the welding sorted. As I started sanding the interior, that turned out to be not the case. Uh, there's a little bit of rust where the fuel filler neck mounted up to the inside of the rear arch that started falling through, but that's not a massive issue. We'll get that sorted very soon. Before I went away though, I wanted to get the engine bay somewhat prepared for what was to come and get the engine mocked up at least just in position so I could see what it looks like before we went away and sure enough we managed to achieve that and I cannot wait to show you what it looks like at the end of the video so stay tuned till then. For now here's a compilation of the engine bay being sorted. Sometimes that these projects need a bit of a stroke of luck to take a big step forward and that's exactly what happened just before we went away. Paul gave me a ring. Uh, you might recognize Paul or know Paul from some builds that he's done in the past. Uh, he gave me a ring and he had some Mark 1 Golf parts lying around from previous projects that he wanted to get rid of. I went down and had a look and couldn't help myself but picked up a load of bits that are going to really accelerate the project into getting towards that finishing line which is just so exciting. underestimating the mess that it would make at the garage. Um, the bay is primed. We're gonna throw the engine in tomorrow. I'm gonna get hold of a engine crane and get it in. But it looks really cool, I think. My brother came down to help. This is Joe. You'd have seen him at the uh, one of the first episodes. What do you reckon, Joe? It smells like paint. Looks like paint. <laughs> if we go back here, look at the absolute state of the garage floor. 
that it has made. I think you can see. It's terrible. It's obviously a blue primer for the blue paint. I will have to reprimer it. I will have to re-sand stuff down. Like I said, this isn't going to be the only uh, time we do this. Uh, I just want to get this so we get an idea of how it looks uh, before we go away. And then when we get back, we've got something really cool to look at and inspire us to crack on. This will cut to tomorrow. It's about, what, half past midnight now? It's been a long day on this, but we'll be back down tomorrow to put the engine in and it will cut to some beauty shots of that now, no doubt. So. We'll see you tomorrow. turn the lights on so I'm on an absolute mad rush I'll probably re-record this at some point but the engine is in ish we still got to flip one of the engine mounts around we probably got it in the wrong way around it's sitting a bit high at one side I'm 99% sure that the bonnet isn't going to just fit over everything um, it sits really high so <laughs> we might have to either smash the bonnet out a little bit or I don't know cut some other bits off we'll see but for now leaving it like this the few late nights and stuff is really worth it. I'm really, really glad to have seen it like this. I've not done as much as I'd like to have, uh, but I have to go. I literally have pushed my time limit as much as I possibly can. It's like half seven. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back at some point soon. This is super cool to be able to do this with my friends and everyone. So thanks for supporting it. Thanks for getting behind it. Hopefully this video comes out well and I'll see you when I get back to make this thing make some really, really nice noises because it does make some really nice noises. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Nice one.